forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. As expected, a few thunderstorms popped this afternoon. Now, on Live Doppler 18, notice the heaviest thunderstorm is just south of Monticello now, and a pretty heavy thunderstorm here approaching Earl Park, and a few other little cells beginning to pop, one north of Morocco and another here in northeast Howard County. And this X here, that's the turbulence by the wind farm, so that is not a thunderstorm. These are, uh, are the rainfall that is falling. Now, notice on our Doppler 18 network precision, there's that heavy thunderstorm approaching Delphi right now, moving very, very slowly. It's going to be in Delphi here in just about 20 minutes, even though it looks like it's very close to you. This storm is moving so slow, it's going to take some time to get there. And about 30 to 40 minutes here near the Camden area as this very slowly drifts to the southeast. Quite a bit of lightning with this as well. We're picking up a lot of lightning strikes with our Doppler 18 system. There you see that storm now moving off to the southeast, and there's the other storm producing quite a bit of lightning here near the Lowell area approaching Earl Park. So again, be careful with that lightning out there this evening. Now there's the regional satellite and radar. Low was wrapping up over northeast Ohio. Back behind it, scattered thunderstorms are pivoting in behind from the west. But the good news is the scattered thunderstorms will tend to diminish once the sun sets this evening. We'll see clearing skies and patchy fog overnight, especially if you get a little rain this evening. Well, there's future cast at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. A lot of clear skies. The fog will burn off. The temperature will start to increase as winds really turn to the southwest, pumping in heat and humidity. A few cumulus clouds will bubble up tomorrow afternoon with highs of about 85 to 88 degrees. So finally a typical July day on the way in terms of the temperature. And then later on in the afternoon and in the evening, we'll see a pretty significant outbreak of severe weather here. Northwest Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa. The good news is that line of storms will greatly weaken overnight and approach our area. So after 4 a.m., a weakening band of showers and a few thunderstorms will pass through and should be out of here close to the noon hour on Saturday and then clearing skies later on in the afternoon. So forecast, notice over the next several days, there's a severe threat, weakening band of showers and thunderstorms Saturday. Good news is main severe threat on Saturday, staying off to the east and even our rain chances dropping off during the afternoon. So tonight, 60 degrees, a few early evening thunderstorms, otherwise some patchy fog developing. Again, especially if you get some rain this evening. And then 87 tomorrow, partly cloudy, typical July warmth. A little cooler on Saturday, but the rain will tend to taper off later on in the afternoon. 30% coverage with a few thunder showers Sunday. And then more rain Tuesday into Wednesday with temperatures below normal, 80 to 85 degrees. We should be in the mid to upper 80s every day. So no real heat wave in your